How's it going guys? My name's Dante, aka Dunny Boy, and welcome to a little game. This is actually the demo of a game that came out I think last week or the week before, not too long ago, called Coffee Talk. I have also got my little well not coffee, I'm not much of a coffee person, my little tea. Yeah. And I thought I'd Oh that's hot. That I thought I'd bring along to this so I can kinda play along a little bit, you know? What's my name? Um, we'll just go with my name. Dante. There we go. Is Dante correct? I'd... I'd... I'd fucking hope so. <laughs> Alright, let's grab this coffee. Or tea, I mean. Alright, keep thinking. Ooh. Ah. Seattle 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. Madness, you say? time when great war between races is but a footnote in history a time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be and have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed oh wow that's that's dark but still it is a place and time where anything can happen very true writing in game design by Muhammad farm is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them as driven as ever. It is a city that holds many dreams and stories of its, of its people. Ah. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. I better not drink all my tea before the game actually starts, I gotta, I gotta play along a little bit. That's hold over drinks, then take up residence in some strangers' memories. Programming done by these people. <laughs> in one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Oh. Love the art style for it. Absolutely love it. I've said it before. <sighs> Nothing turns me on more than a good art style in a video game. <laughs> mm. Ah, here we go. Dante. It's me! Welcome- Oh, it's you. Oh, hello there. Freya. Hello, Freya. Hey, Dante. How's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. Big word for me. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Oh, no. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. Do I need to put on like a voice for this? No, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stoop that low to humiliate myself. <laughs> anyway, let me set things up at up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor, so I'm used to taking things slow. Heh. <laughs> Writer's block again. You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Dot dot dot. Ah! Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you get how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Ooh, okay. Base. How do I... Okay. I'm guessing that I just... It's just... I mean, triple shot espresso, it's literally just coffee, coffee, coffee. Yeah. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Hmm. That's a aroma. Ah, exactly what I need. <laughs> I didn't look at my phone, but I mean, I, I've, I'm a bartender now, but I used to do um, barista a couple years ago. 
So this is my brew pad. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, espresso, triple shot. Anyway, where were we? You plan to do something. Do something. I got my tea. Oh, I'm loving this game. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's so it's so nice and chill. It's like it's midnight. It's quarter past midnight at the moment when I'm recording this. So it's like it's good to just kick back, not yell at a game. Drink some tea. It's not that I hate writing stories for the new newspapers, you know. <sighs> but it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Ooh, yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job, in case things go... Ori? Ori? Ugh. Ha 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 ha. Uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have done. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whisper? The GRA Media, right? Yes. Now, also the biggest book publisher in the country. Ooh. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, come on. Don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah. I know, it was such a stupid thing to do. So, how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. It sounds great. What about your job, in the, job at the Evening Whisper? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. It's always hard to juggle multiple things. It is very, very hard. We're secretly working on the novel during office hours. I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch, yeah, that's a bit ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Ah, <laughs> uh, again, don't look at me like that. <laughs> hey, well, I mean... How far along are you? Uh, I bet she hasn't even started. I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. <laughs> that is something I would actually say. That is honestly something, just being like a complete smart ass. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well, <laughs> it was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. Come on, so zero. I really need to finish it, finish it in at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off, if you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. I'm being cynical. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Because of my beautiful face and my um, uh, Mr. Strong Mug, is that, is that why? Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, this warm coffee on my face is awesome. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Got another customer. Ah, sorry, let me put me down my tea. Welcome. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss. Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends hard on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. I get a cap. Cap or a latte? I'm not planning to be awake all night. Yeah, maybe a latte. Ah, oh, not, not coffee. Okay. Hot chocolate or a tea? That's a good idea, actually. I mean, you said all night. You need to say for a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate, please. Okay. Let's go into our brew pad. Where do we go? We got a dark chocolate, so we'll just go chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. 
One, two, three. I don't see why we have. Um, I'm just gonna follow this. I was gonna, I was gonna put like some milk, but eh. we'll just, we'll just go along with what it says. I am actually freaking. This game is so cool. I, I am considering buying this game. It's not, it's not that much. It's like, I think it's like eighteen Australian dollars or something like that. One cup of chocolate ready. And every time I play this game, I have to have a cup of tea with me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, good. So warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went empty to three customers in one night. I did. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only cafe still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only cafe that still opens past midnight. It's mostly empty. <laughs> That's true. Now that you mention it, it is good for business having the cafe early open at night. Definitely not. Oh wait, I, I think I read that wrong. Yep. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. I, I would... I, I, yeah, that'd actually be pretty cool. I imagine I'd be a cafe like just only after at night. <laughs> and there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the cafe like this? That's a secret. Doctor here is damn rich. That's a secret. <laughs> oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Don't take advantage. I'm sure this cafe won't go bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird, calm place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer that works well at night and in a cafe. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whisper. Shut up. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to, the, to their short stories. I love their fiction. You write those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. What, uh, what's her name? you got to ask what her name is. Then are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Write about what's about to happen? I feel like... Yeah, here we go. Welcome! Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks, folks here. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh. Okay. And draw some latte art on the top. Then you want a latte. That's what you want. Literally want a latte. Something bitter to keep me awake. Yeah, latte. <laughs> Coffee. Milk. Milk. Brew. How do I draw co coffee art? Latte art. Ooh. Oh! Oh, it's gonna make me do it? Oh, I haven't done the. Oh my god. Invert. Um, oh my god. Ooh, that is so bad. Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> I gotta recover this somehow. I gotta recover this. Can I reset? I can, I can, I can. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, I'm just gonna do a line. And just... Can I... Oh, come on. Okay. Why is it so much easier in real life? <laughs> oh, I can't remember how to do coffee art. Oh, I used to be decent at it. Not perfect. Not like anything special. You know what? There you go, buddy. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was, but... Here's your order. This won't help me stay awake. 
But at least it's got milk. Hey! Oh, you probably wanted more. Oh. Yeah, well. <sighs> I was having a nice chat with them. Oh, yeah? I haven't properly introduced myself. Hi, hey, Baileys. Oh, my. Where are my manners? <laughs> I know, you literally haven't said name. I haven't said my name. He's Lua. So, Bailey, Lua, and Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Dante. Hey, do you know Miss Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whisper? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, hey, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. Yeah. I've done some characters and infographics for the paper. I assume you, you were in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? Oof. No, he isn't. <laughs> but I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stay and working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. There's always another layer of hell beneath even the deepest hell. How do you, how do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are, are lost drunk drunkards or criminals. Yeah, that sounds really bad. Nah, no, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this gives you cover making skill though. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to get start writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where, where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at the table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> oh, I'll try. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus my boss was in a really good mood all day. All oh, my teeth get cold. Oh, I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well he is. But today we, he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened. But it was great seeing him so happy. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? <laughs> well, she fits all the bills. Is she a Karen? She must be a Karen. She must be a Karen. I've gone forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. <laughs> and lose my current project for a minute of laughter. Make a meme about it, and then release it after dealing with her. That might be worth it. You should ask Dante here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying clients? Well... Ah, it's funny you ask. The way I deal with annoying clients is that I just, um... Smile and wave. <laughs> and tell security to get him out. No. Uh, the ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I don't ha have my own methods. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. And that's one good lesson learned for the day. Dot, dot, dot. Your phone's ringing, love. Your parents? Yes. So you've talked to them. I did. Ooh, there's something going down with her parents. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. They won't give us a chance at all. Anyone but Nalf. Oh, wow. Oh. Racist mother flubbers. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? Ooh, shit. You don't have to do this, you know. They are your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they said about you last night. 
I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. What kind of race is she? Like with the horns. I'm not sure. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old stuff. Mumble about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. About how even if I outlive you. What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me. All the elves want to be with an elf. That's already been tainted by a lowly uh, succubi succubus. There we go. Haha, <laughs> big word. Exactly what they said. So this is it then. The end of our relationship. Oh no! What? That just, that just went. Doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? I don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be in this kind of relationship for the rest of our eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. What is that supposed to mean, hey? <laughs> and you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to, s to severe my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet! Oh my god! You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. You don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even, know to, you don't even need to look deep down. Trust me. We can do this together. Oh my god, this is the most wholesome and sweet thing in any EDM. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait. She's got that. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. That's alright. This cafe has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. I hope it does. <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. <laughs> That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. How do I make a... What's this? Oh, oh no, give me my phone back. Okay. Cap. Yeah, I should have picked cappuccino before. Okay, green tea latte. Easy. Green tea, milk, milk. Milk and milk. Oh, we could do some coffee art. Mm. No, no, no. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> He's going to love it. Uh, here's your green tea latte with coffee out of a, uh, coffee out of a dick. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> Thank you for this. All good, buddy. <laughs> By the way, are we married? Me? No. No, I am a single little Pringle. Do you have someone you love? Uh, I love this cafe. Yep. I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I don't really have any expectations. Just listen, just because I drew a dick on your thing doesn't mean I want you, okay? Okay? Man, out of all the creatures in the world, why did I fall for her? Heh, <laughs> you can't choose who you fall in love with. That is very true. It's true, you know, it just happens. You can, if you try hard enough. Also true! At least that's what my old man said. <laughs> he really is a pretentious elf. Well, I guess all of them are. Entitled, entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an internal asshole. Yes. Anyway, I have to go now. I probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. What time for me to drink then? See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. 
Do visit again. You are listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find their way together soon. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay. You have a good night then. You too. Cup for those longing for a deep slumber. Never heard of that one. Bedchamber. So beautiful. Oh my god. Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. Zombie virus from Africa. Might have reached Seattle. Ooh, that's scary as hell. And Miss Freya is back. And as she returns, that is going to have to do it for this video. That was an amazing game. I don't think the demo's up yet, but um, yeah, I've been recording for like uh, t for almost half an hour now, and I think that's a good a good spot to to end it. I'm actually really, I actually really, really love this game. I, I will definitely heavily, I probably will end up buying it and playing it. Not any, not not yet. I've still got obviously because I've got a few series going on, but I am definitely going to make time for this game, and I will definitely continue playing it. But like I said, this game's do it for this video so if you like this video make sure you hit up with a like and as always subscribe for more and i hope to see you in my next video ladders